My name's Tom Peter, and I'm gonna take you through a lower body only T-bar workout. All you need for this workout is a barbell, some plates, and a T-bar attachment. I've linked a warm up in the description below, but you could just go a little bit lighter for your first round. I'm gonna be loading this with 25 kilos. That's about 55 pounds for the first section. We're gonna be doing four exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three rounds. Then we'll lighten the load on the bar and do a fresh four exercises, still doing the same format. Let's get into the workout. So we've got nice long rests within this workout. So you should be able to load the bar relatively heavy, but make sure your technique stays neat. We're gonna start things off with a front squat. So we're gonna have the bar loaded up here. It might help to chalk your hands up if you find the bar is slipping. So we're leaning against the bar. Let's go. So knees push out to the sides. Make sure your back isn't collapsing with your tailbone tucking under. You should maintain that forward lean on the bar throughout the whole rep. Keep your heels on the floor. Might help to turn your feet out and just adjust your foot position to find what's most comfortable for you. So next up, we're gonna move on to some calf raises. So we're gonna be back in that same position with that forward lean, making sure we get a nice squeeze at the top. This is more of a strength workout, so you should have some rest times. So you, it's not a hit, so you won't necessarily be very out of breath. So we're gonna come up on to the toes. We're gonna to spend all our time the top of the movement and minimize the time at the bottom. I really like this variation for getting a good stretch on the calf with that forward lean. We're going to try and maximize that time under tension with those holds at the top and those brief taps at the bottom. Let's go up and hold and finish there. Oh. Got a tough one next. I'm actually gonna use a squat pad for this next one. If you haven't got one, you can still place it on your shoulder without. But we're gonna to need to get the bar up onto the shoulder. That might be the trickiest bit of the whole workout. Uh, you can just support it with the other hand. You could always wrap a towel around if you haven't got one of these squat pads. You're gonna put your head against the plate, squat down, back up to the top. You can hold on to the end of the bar for support. Make sure your tailbone's not tucking under. I usually find people um, stand too close to the bar, so I recommend walking away a little bit, but make sure your floor isn't slippy. And if you've got mats that are loose, be careful. It might be worth putting some plates around to help that stick. Not very elegant on the way down there. Uh, we're gonna do some deadlifts next. So you're gonna just straddle the very end of the bar. We're not doing a Romanian deadlift, we're doing a conventional, so that means that we can bend the legs for this. We're gonna use that hip hinge action. Getting the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and a little bit of quads working. So flatten that back out. Hinging up. So from the top, your hips push away. Your knees can bend. And keep a nice long spine position. Gentle touch on the floor each time. So we've got a nice long rest now, making sure you're fully recovered. If you found that round too easy, just slide plate on the end. I think that was good for me, so I'm not going to go up anymore on this round. Or maybe you can mix and match. You might find you could do one more plate for the calf raises, but you might want to make the hack squats a little lighter. You've got plenty of time to do that. Uh, maybe I'll do that, so I'll add just one for the calf raise, 
but I think I'll take it off for those hack squats. So we're going to the front squat star. Let's go. So I like a relatively wide stance for this. Knees consciously stopping them from collapsing to the inside. And I put a lot of forward lean on the bar using that pivot rather than trying to work against it. Even if the beep goes, always finish your rep off. Okay, so add a plate for those calf raises, but feel free to stick with what you've got. So because it's legs only, we have to add some rest times in between sets. So squeeze at the top, slowly down, brief contact with the floor, and then straight back up into the next rep. Definitely burning a little bit more of this extra plate. Finish the rep. I'm gonna take a bit off now for those hack squats. Might even take two plates off. Make it a little easier to get up onto the shoulder. So I really recommend putting your back and back of your head in contact with the plate and use the pivot. So you're not trying to come up and down in a straight line. I'm just going with the angle of the bar. Get that nice big quad stretch, the hack squat. Fantastic quad exercise. It's called the hack squat because it mimics a hack squat machine or similar kind of action. If you find you want to swap shoulders, feel free to swap shoulders. I'll keep it on this one just because I've got the mic over here. Ooh, let's get one more. Apologies for the noise. Better than hurting your back putting it down. Okay, let's slide both of these back on for those deadlifts. So you can use the same weight throughout, but if you've got the plate selection, why not tailor it more to your strengths and weaknesses? Two rounds done in this heavier exercise section. So we're gonna take a short break. Feel free to get a little bit of water. And I'm gonna go again for the fine, third and final round before we change up the exercises. Hopefully you've warmed up by now. Maybe you can get a little bit more range of motion into your reps. So breathe in while you should breathe in. Brace for the rep. Breathe out at the top. Add a 
mad in that plane for these calves. Forward lean to get that stretch. Let's go. Squeeze at the top. Minimizing that time at the bottom. Hold for the last one. Okay, onto the hack squat. It's a nice deep squat, as long as it doesn't hurt your back, lean in on it, going with the pivot, and a big quad stretch. Just make sure you haven't got a slippy floor. If you have, like I said, put some heavy plates around to stop the mats sliding. Final exercise in this heavy section. We're gonna go with those deadlifts. So the end of the bar should be in line with the tongues of your shoe. Well done, you get a proper rest now. We're gonna have a full minute off. Give me time to have a drink. Let your legs recover. So we've got four new exercises. You need to deload the bar. I'm gonna go down to a 10 kilo plate. I'll let you work that out, what it is in pounds. I think that's, uh, I'm gonna say 22 pounds. We're going to do some alternating reverse lunges, uh, some rotational cleans, which you'll see the demo later. Do it on the other side, finishing up with some alternating Romanian deadlifts. So we're going to be swapping hands for these lunges. Um, so I'm going to lunge back with the same leg I'm holding on with. I'm going to switch hands and swap. If you find that switch either annoying or hard to coordinate, you can hold it up in this front rack position and do alternating lunges like that. So it's not a right or wrong, it's just down to preference. Maybe your shoulders are tired, this is an easier option. Great job. Next up, we've got that rotational clean. So you're gonna start off horizontal to the bar, you know, drive and finish facing the bar, square off to it. You're not gonna do the press today, it's kind of lower body focus, but you could add a press on if you're doing more of a full body workout. So start off nice flat back, drive, finish facing the bar and back down. 
finish the start this way. Doing a quarter turn to square off to the bar. Taking it slow there, help demo the technique. If you think you're nailing it and it looks neat, feel free, free to speed those reps up. So just gonna switch it around, start on the other side. So a rotational clean, doing a quarter turn, finishing square to the bar. Nice power move, good for transferring into sports. Now we're gonna go for some alternating Romanian deadlift. Deadlifts, this is gonna test your balance. We're gonna go back for that hand switch. You can just hold it in two hands if you like. I prefer to use the switch. Try not to aeroplane your hips, so try not to twist them. Try staying square to the front. So you're gonna do single leg Romanian deadlift and then switch hands and feet at the top. Take your time with it. Good tip and not opening your hips out to the side, is try and keep the back toe pointed down towards the floor, and that'll stop that hip rotation. The hip rotation will take the stretch off the hamstring, and that's not what we're looking for out of that. So I feel like I've got a little bit more in me on these. So I'm gonna add a small five kilo plate onto the end. So if you found it too heavy and you're struggling, just drop the weight down. If you're finding this easy, then why don't you add a plate on as long as it doesn't affect your technique. So we're back to those lunges. You can do it in that front rack position or feel free to switch down at the bottom. So if I'm holding the left hand, I'm gonna lunge back with the left leg and vice versa. I like to gently touch that back knee on the floor or at least come very close. This is one where chalk's useful, catching that bar. Rotational clean is going to be a little bit more challenging now. This extra plate on. So you're going to start facing this way. Should finish square to the front. And in the same hand and a nice smooth action. If you want to add that push in, feel free. So you're going to flatten your back out. Same again on the other side. Ooh. 
good to develop a bit of that explosive, explosive hip power. And then we've got those alternating Romanian deadlifts. So you can do it just holding on to the end of the bar the whole time, like that. But I uh, prefer to switch hands on these. So same leg you're holding in is the same leg that's going back behind you. Little wobble. If you're really struggling with the balance on those, feel free to just do free reps on one side and then do free reps on the other and keep alternating in freeze. And you might find the coordination a little easier. That extra plate definitely threw me off a bit on those. So into the final round now, and then that's the workout complete. If you're enjoying this, you could finish with a little stretch, or I've got an upper body one uh, that you could do straight after this. <laughs> Let's start with those lunges. Remember, you can opt for these front rack lunges. rotational cleans like I said feel free to up the weight or take the weight down just make sure the technique stays clean throughout <laughs> you want a nice flat back to start each rep Same again on the other side. <sighs> Pull those shoulder blades in tight. <laughs> Power out of the hips.
just to keep my technique nice and neat and get a good range of motion. I'm gonna slide one off for this next set. We're going for those alternating Romanian deadlifts. So if you're holding it in your right hand, you're gonna go back with your right leg to start. So you can see I got a little bit more control with this weight. And that's it, that's the workout complete. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout? And where in the world are you doing this workout from? Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Like I said before, if you wanna join me for another landmine T-bar workout, check the playlist out here. And if you fancy just doing a little stretch cool down, then check out the video here. See you soon.